everyone. My name is Grace Lee and I'm a senior journalism major with an emphasis in visual media. I'm going to be talking about today how an introvert, which is me, used visual media to tell my story. So just a little background about myself. I'm the youngest of three and my parents have been divorced ever since I was two years old. Um, and for some reason I have no memories of my childhood. Like, I don't know, maybe something happened where my mind just erased all the memories, but I have very little memory of my childhood. Um, coming from a broken family, there were a lot of like insecurities that I dealt with, a fear of men, appearance, achievements, and etc. And being raised under Asian parents was really hard because there were always standards that were set upon me that I was never always able to meet. I've grown up in Southern California my whole life, basically, and I came to Biola after high school because, honestly, the thought of going to a secular college was really frightening and foreign to me. I've always heard stories of people who fervently attend a church, but after they went to college, they just like left the church completely, and I didn't want that to happen to me. So I came to Biola not knowing anyone, not knowing what major I wanted to study, and with a lot of anxiety about how I would adjust to this predominantly white school because I've only been around Asians my whole life. Uh, but, and given my introverted personality, it was really hard to make friends the first year or two, and I've commuted all four years, so it was even harder because of that. But I first stumbled upon the major of public relations through a friend that I met. And even after hearing her explanation, I was like, what is public relations? But something about it just really intrigued me, so I entered the major. And I first, um, the first ever journalism PR class that I took was with Professor Simon. It was Foundations of Journalism. And I think his passion for what he does and his love for his students really inspired me. And I really wanted to be a part of the calling. And as an introvert, a disdain for public speaking is really in my nature. And did you know that the fear of public speaking is number one on the fear of uh, rank of fears? Number two is fear of death. Three, fear of spiders. Four, is fear, fear of darkness. And fifth is fear of heights. But as the years progress, I think the realization that my life is coming to an end every minute that I live, I realize that I really need to tell my story and I won't be able to if I don't seize every opportunity to speak. So I've learned to take use of nonverbal forms of communication to tell my story, such as photography, videography, or even social media. Journalism here at Biola has really challenged me to get out of my comfort zone. I realized after the first semester that no one's going to speak up for me and I'm not going to get special treatment just because I'm an introvert and I really hate public speaking. But studying journalism then led me to the question, what is my passion? What was I passionate about? Uh, at Biola, from my freshman year to my second semester as a senior, junior, I've changed my major eight times. Eight times, that's a lot. I know. You might be thinking she has a lot of commitment issues, but I really just didn't know what I was passionate about, and so it was really hard. I changed my major so many times because I didn't really find anything within those majors that inspired me to stay. For example, I love writing, but I don't really like reading. And when I stepped into my first literature class as an English major, I was like, I don't want to do this. So I left the English major. and. I love learning about the intricacies of the mind and soul, but I didn't want to go to grad school, so I left the psychology major. All these things I enjoyed and I wanted to learn about, but I wasn't really passionate about them. So what was I passionate about? Aaron Siskin once said, photography is a way of feeling, of touching, of loving. What you have caught on film is captured forever. It remembers little things long after you've forgotten everything. And this is one of the reasons why I fell in love with photography. I mentioned in my introduction that I don't really have memory of my childhood. Well, I can go back and remember a, a moment because of all the photographs that I have. I have like a whole closet full of photographs, maybe the love for photography ones in the family, I don't know. But uh, even though I may not remember exactly what happened, I can still recall maybe the feelings that I might have felt during that time. 
and I believe this is why I've always had a passion for children growing up. I wanted to be someone they can just have fun around and be themselves uh, around because that's what I needed when I was younger. And I believe that God is calling me to use photography to impact the lives of our next generation and to share his love with the children. And I want to capture moments of their lives that they won't forget, so they won't forget their childhood like I did. And my heart has also been broken for South Korea for a very long time. Despite its many technological and economical advances, such as having the world's fastest internet and having the world's highest estimated national IQ by the OECD, South Korea has the lar largest market for plastic surgery in the world, uh, where one out of third women have undergone the knife at least one time in their life. And they also have one of the highest suicide rates, coming at 29.6 cases per 100,000 people, which is actually a lot given the, pop the size of their population. And I believe God is calling me to use photography and writing to share the gospel and be used to even bring the smallest amount of change in the world. And this past, semest uh, this past semester, I've had the opportunity to work as an intern photographer with Mark Ministry, an online, cr online Christian women's magazine. And I entered the internship not really knowing what to expect because it was my only, sec my only second internship. And I was given photography assignments every month to feature for the monthly issue articles. Uh, my first set of assignments were just okay and they were like passable but they weren't really great because I wasn't used to it and I didn't really know how to be like creative but through Sarah my internship supervisors encouragement and push to just be better I think I ended I left Mark Ministry having grown a lot in my photography so these are the photos that I took before like my first month of being an intern there but I ended up with just greater photos in my opinion but uh, one thing that I'll take away from the internship is a photo shoot that we had at Balboa Island in Newport Beach. It was an article in December about sisterhood and Christmas and I worked with a photographer, her name was Lydia, I met her the day of. But even though I didn't really direct the poses that were used for the photo shoot, just being there and being able to work with more experienced photographers really really inspired me to get out of my comfort zone and to just, yeah, get out there. And I was really nervous because I hadn't done a professional photo shoot before, but um, everyone there, they were really encouraging. And through this photo shoot, I was able to gift others with moments that they'll never forget. This was their first ever photo shoot as well. So I believe that they'll take home really great memories. and. It was really good for me too because I was able to share my love of photography with them. And so what can we all do about this? Like what should you take away from my speech? So what? <laughs> so you've heard about my childhood, you've heard about my journey through Viola, my passions, my internship. Well, I wanna challenge you all to help proclaim the gospel through visual media. We're living in a world where Social media has replaced face-to-face -face conversation and children are going more antisocial because they're so attached to their phones. A 2013 Common Sense Media research showed that 38% of children under two have used a mobile device for playing games, watching videos, or other media-related purposes. I can't imagine how much higher the statistics will be today. A Pew Research Center study showed that same year that 78% of teenagers ages 12 to 17 have a cell phone and 23% have a tablet. And 45% of parents with children ages 2 to 13 say that they plan to purchase a device for their kids to read ebooks. Am I saying these things are wrong? I don't think so. I think they can be great ways to educate our children and even just really show them the world. But I just hope that we wouldn't let that replace childhood memories, cherish childhood memories. Um, and I know a lot of us don't really have children, but in the future, uh, I hope that we can all do that. And I ho my hope is to use visual media platforms such as photography, videography, and even social media to proclaim the gospel. So visual media is not only a way to express yourself, both for extroverts and introverts, 
but it's also a great resource to tell your story. And one way I use visual media to tell mine is through providing a voice for those that may not have the same resources that I do. And I've prepared a video that is about an interview that I had with my pastor's wife, Lindsay. She's an immigrant who came from South Korea to faithfully serve her husband as a pastor. And she's been at our church for about four years now, but there's still a lot of people that don't know her story because of the language barrier that exists. So here's her story. So visual media is a great way for you to use to allow others to tell their stories. And as an introvert, it's hard to muster up the courage to initiate conversation with other people. And because I have like a fear of judgment or fear of rejection, it's really difficult to tell my story with other people. However, Galatians 1.10 says that, for, no, for am I seek, now seeking the approval of man or of God, or am I trying to please man? If I were still trying to please man, I would not be a servant of Christ. And this is a verse that will continue to remind me of my calling. Although shyness and fear of public speaking is in my nature as an introvert, I think looking to the cross and how he loved me inspires me to go out and partake in the kingdom work. And I hope to continue to use photography to impact people's lives and to be a voice to those who have no voice. Thank you.